Ready? So how did the first match go? Yeah, we won the first match. Uh, we cleared our side of the field. We still have to replace the shaft and our robot so um, we can lift. Good job, guys. Woo! Coming into this tournament, I think that uh, the students were extremely nervous. Uh, they didn't know what to expect. Um, here we are at, at Google, six and a half hours away from home, and um, they're just happy as can be just to be there. And um, seeing the kids that they're going to be competing against, looking at the robots, how they interact with their teachers, I think. Once they uh, got a feel for some of how the tournament was going to go in terms of the competitiveness, um, they realized that they needed to really focus and, and uh, pay attention to the little details of the matches. Uh, things like counting the stars uh, on each of the zones, making sure that um, they played the game smart and not just uh, throwing everything across the field. And that strategy, for the most part, worked for the whole entire qualifying rounds. Um, both uh, are both the teams that competed were four and zero going into their fifth match, and both of them lost the fifth match. Uh, one of them tipped over, and uh, the other one. Um, the arms stopped working uh, because of a cracked uh, gear um, and then they ended up fixing their issues and winning their sixth match. Um, they placed third and sixth in the qualifying rounds which was uh, really good and um, everybody was really impressed. I mean I think even at one point um, because of the SP points and their autonomous points they were in first place which uh, they were completely shocked and just wanted to stare at the uh, scoreboard because um, they didn't expect you know to be there but their hard work was paying off and um, it was good to just see their faces um, when, when things were working out for them because they, they understood how to play the game and um, they ended up going to the qualifying rounds and uh, picking alliances and I think things just kind of uh, got confusing, um, not only for them, but for a lot of the uh, other team members that, um, or other alliances that were up there on the podium because uh, there was no ranking for any of the teams that were remaining. So uh, they kind of just had to look um, and see if they could remember any of the teams. One of, the, of our team members brought up his cell phone to try to look online to maybe um, see if he can find a team that was in the top, you know, 10 to 20, um, but um, they ended up picking their alliance, and um, it didn't work out, and they ended up losing in the first round, and it was extremely heartbreaking. Um, it was unfortunate to come so far 
and to have come so close and to just have it not work out. So um, even though it did not pan out the way that they might have expected, I think the number one thing that was extremely evident was their ability to problem solve and think quick and to, to just not give up, to manage the match, to um, compete. And that's a, a really good thing as just an observer to see uh, young people just um, working together to try to solve common problems to become successful and um, they might not they might not have won but uh, it was an extreme success the whole entire trip was an extreme success not only for for them but uh, for their parents uh, for me for our school it was just a really uh, wonderful experience. So one thing that you really realize with uh, an event like this is there are so many teachers that are completely dedicated to their students in various ways. Um, I see some teachers getting upset, some te teachers encouraging, but like if they don't get upset, that means they don't care. And it's good to see, you know, these educators really, really trying to, to help their kids to be successful. Um, it's just fun to watch, and this is going to be an extremely competitive event. I can already tell, extremely competitive. But we're just glad to be here. All right, so we're having a little bit of fun, and we found something extremely special that very limited people have probably seen in their lifetime. What the um, It is ridiculous, and it's one of these. What's a seven-seater bike? A seven-seater bike. It's called a Kobe. Kobe. It's called a Kobe. <laughs> oh, we can't ride it. Look at that. It has a wheel. Oh my God, it has a wheel. <laughs> this is a circle. This is a wheel. This is a circle. It's an oval. Wow. Yeah, I've ridden them. Ball net. Huge dinosaur over there. The garden right here. 